What's going on, football fans? It's time once again for another rendition of the Pound for Pound. I'm your host, J.R. Clark, and today we're going to be talking about training camp. Yes, man, it is awesome. It is great. We were back at it this week. Started on Thursday. So this weekend marks the official last weekend without football until sometime in 2018. So that is awesome. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm psyched. It's great. But uh, me and uh, Toby D went up to, you know, Falcons training camp up in Flowery Branch this past weekend. Uh, We went up there on Saturday, which is great because that was the first time that they put on pads uh, this training camp and really got to see the guys going full steam, got to see them, you know, really hitting each other, you know, and uh, it was real you know, real good to just finally see some some live football action. You know, not watching Game Pass. You know, actually getting to see people hit each other. It was awesome. So, uh, without further ado, let's just kind of jump into it. Uh, me and Toby had talked about uh, that I'd watch the D line and he'd watch uh, our offense. You know, because that was the kind of the things that we were wanting to key in on. So, uh, <clears throat> the first thing was up was a. Uh, the D line versus O line uh, drills had you know your uh, center guard versus uh, defensive end uh, nose tackle or three technique uh, drills, and the one that jumped out at me right away was uh, Grady Jarrett. That uh, was the first first drill ball snap, and he got right up under Max pads and just got up under him and jacked him up. Man, it was. It was good to see. I mean, that, that dude's first step is lightning quick. And that's great, and that's crazy for somebody who's as big as he is. And then, you know, the next time up, you see Poe and, uh, up there and just the strength of, of Don Terry Poe, you know, pushing him back. Those two dudes are going to wreck some havoc this year. I mean, they're not going to, you know, other offensive lines aren't going to be able to double team both of them, obviously. You know, and that's, that is going. That's going to be a recipe for success for us. You get those two guys working in tandem. You know, if you get Do, uh, Poe double teamed, and then you know Grady is one on one. There ain't too many guards that are going to be able to handle Grady Jarrett, as you saw in the Super Bowl. You know, I, it really looks like that's going to you know carry you forward. You know, I think Grady Jarrett's going to have a real breakout year this year, and having Don Terry Poe beside him. You know, truly being a force, unlike, you know, Tyson Jackson was a force. And unfortunately, you know, Babineau was at the end of his, you know, career, really. I mean, as much as I hate to say it, but that's the truth. So he wasn't as much of a force as he once was. So now you're pairing him with a guy who is a force. And I think the addition of Poe also looked like it kind of lit a fire underneath Hagman because he was flashing out there. So... I think the combination of Poe and then the addition of Bryant Young is going to be nothing but but net positives for us. I mean, you saw them doing uh, uh, hand drills with Bryant Young, and uh, you know where Bryant Young was trying to look like from where I was at, it looked like he was trying to you know gut check him, and they were having to get out of the way and you know quick twitch around him. You know, so you're really seeing the emphasis on on the technique is is there and it's evident you know then you had uh, another guy who flashed uh that i had to you know obviously didn't recognize the number but uh just his movement was impressive was jack crawford i mean the mixture of power and speed i think that's going to be another one he's another one of those you know inside out guys can play you know defensive tackle can play defensive end you know a la courtney upshaw and and some of adrian claiborne but mainly you know, Courtney Upshaw and Derek Shelby, Ooh, which Derek Shelby was out there moving around, looking real good. You know, that was a uh, that was pleasant. That was a nice, you know, nice thing to to see. But I mean, I, I think our defensive line is is gonna cause some people problems this year. You know, whether it be you know run stopping or pass rushing. I mean, they have one play where uh, Devontae. I'm sure you've seen the clips on Twitter or whatever by now. But you know, Devontae, you know, cut through. And Beasley just, you know, cut him off, you know, and limited it to about maybe a yard or two gain. And that's, you know, that's what you want to see, you know, that that speed. And I think this, man, this is going to be a lightning quick defense this year. 
I don't know if the NFL has ever seen a defense that's going to be as fast as our defense. Now, speed is one thing. Speed is great. And there's that old adage that speed kills, you know. But you just hope that they don't end up overrunning a lot of plays or, or being, you know, over aggressive and offenses using the aggression against them. But, you know, only time will tell with that. But uh, as a whole, man, I was really pumped about the way our defense, you know, was, was playing this weekend. The reports that, you know, I've seen and read with, uh, you know, from Vaughn McClure about DeMonte Casey picking off two balls in practice. You know, uh, Robert Alford has been picking off a few. And before y'all freak out too much like y'all tend to do, keep in mind that Julio Jones wasn't playing in the 11-on-11 drills. You know, he would do some individual work. But for the most part, he's been chilling on the side. So, you know, that's just Ryan getting, you know, back in rhythm with, you know, guys like Gabriel and Sanu and unknown guys like Reggie Davis from Georgia. So, y'all don't start tripping out like y'all did last year when Kyle Shanahan intercepted Matt Ryan. But um, hopefully that kind of stuff has been put to bed with him winning the MVP. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. Um but as far as the defensive line goes, man, I, I think we're in good hands. And I think that we are going to be pleasantly surprised this year by the amount of disruption and by the amount of chaos and havoc that these guys are going to wreck on these uh, opposing offenses. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. A big smile on my face because football is back and it's time to get in it. It's time to get pumped. And it's time to get hyped. All right, y'all. Have a good night.